and he is with the... I'm a member of the Revolutionary Communists of America. Let me ask you this. What really ask is what really want. is money? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a renter. Or, you know, or actually, more accurately, my dad's a renter because I had to move back in with my dad. Through the expropriation of the capitalist class, we argue that if the working class had a revolution and the working class took power tomorrow, we would want those to be expropriated. Yeah, yeah and did you do you feel I asked you, I was, uh, because we had different opinions, did you feel I was harsh to you? No. Or mean to you? <laughs> That's Peter Bogosian, the soft-spoken gentleman there at the end, asking if he had been mean or not nice. I love Peter. I'm not as quite as nice or not mean. This might go a little different. <laughs> Peter Bogosian, he runs a little thing they call street epistemology. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Goes out, has a scale kind of on the ground between strongly disagree to agree. He'll make a claim, and then the people will find the spot on that scale that they feel they fit on and then can verbalize, vocalize what they believe, what they think. And there's been some great episodes of this, so I don't know if you've ever seen any of them, but they are, they are chef's kiss when you get to hear some people kind of verbalize. But I caught this video the other day with a revolutionary communist. The shit show we have found ourselves in allowed these types of people to just live their entire lives, believe in complete, utter buffoonery. We're just gonna let old revolutionary communist, if he was given the reins tomorrow, what he do. What do you mean by the working class? Again, I think the best definition is just going to be somebody who meaningfully is living off of wage labor. That could be any and everyone. It will ultimately come down to the scale in which you define meaningful, meaningfully, wage labor. These words, these generalities, it's, it's just real sloppy. Because of it, they can get away with anything. Because their words could mean anything. I just had to keep that in there. That's who the working class is to him. Meaningfully, wage labor. And I think it's an equally absurd argument today okay. to be saying that the, if, if these millionaires and billionaires lost their wealth, that they would be excluded from society or something like that. They would actually not be excluded from society. They would be just forced to live the way everybody else lives, which is working for a living. Oh no, millionaires and billionaires, we wouldn't exclude you from society. You could join us. I mean, we just took everything you have. Come join us now. How do so, they create wealth? Through their labor, you know, through, through our ability to work. Uh, work creates wealth. There, you know, there, there is no, there is no uh, millions and billions of dollars going into the bank accounts of the capitalist class without people being able to create the commodities that were sold to create that wealth. That's not just one piece of a thousand piece fucking puzzle. Could that just not have been just dumbed down to the most basic? Well, without the workers creating the wealth, there wouldn't be anything to make money on. Just try to follow this. It's so kindergartenish that you just wonder how grown adults could stand on this as a platform. These are great ideas. Never been tried. Oh no, man, we'd do it right this time. Oh, I understand Eight, what you mean by work. You mean like manual little. labor when you say work. That's one form of labor. That's one form of labor, just, just manual labor. But there's also uh, the people who uh, are writing things. <laughs> He's got to include himself. You know, I'm sure he's comparing himself to the folks in the coal mines, picking potatoes and strawberries, writing for the Revolutionary Communist Weekly, right up there with train conductors and truck drivers. Our administrator is a guy named Howard Gilman. Howard Gilman and Gene Block, they don't really work meaningfully at all. I think what they do is they answer emails and they sometimes send emails out to the students telling them this or that, uh, and they get paid uh, a ridiculous amount of money. That's a problem with the university systems and not so much capitalism as a whole. Considering that the government guaranteed loans to anybody and their brother, of course with the clause that you can't file for bankruptcy with it. At the same time, I, I don't want to get in a situation where we're saying people who are unemployed, for example, who've been laid off from their jobs are not economically valuable. They're very economically valuable. I, in fact, I would say anyone who has the ability to work should be given the opportunity to work for good wages, good benefits, uh, houses who, who over their heads, food the on their table. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Are you not talking about what we ultimately have today? An opportunity to go get a job, make money, make a career, pay for all the things that you're gonna need. God, just imagine life 200 fucking years ago, bro, where if you did nothing, you died. In a ditch, people walk right by you. Well, he should have tried harder. I really think, again, the wealth that's already exists right now in the bank accounts of the capitalist class, in the bank accounts of the billionaires and the bankers, 
that money, which again only exists through the labor of workers all over the world, workers going back hundreds of years. Is that just not the most almost childish belief of how people become who they become? Bro, it's almost like Inspector Gadget. That villain was how he's just sitting there petting his cat with his fucking evil claw hand. All of that value that's been created, we could use to guarantee everybody employment, guarantee everybody a job, guarantee everybody uh, food the, on the table. What would be the motivator for anyone to do anything in that situation? Because everything, again, like literally everything we have in society, it comes through work. It comes through the fact that we work and we have things. That's what would motivate people. They wouldn't be motivated by the threat of poverty. They'd be motivated by the fact that they understand that their work contributes to society running. People wouldn't want to do this for the fear of dying homeless and hungry. They would do this because they knew that they are taking part in a greater society. Holy fuck. Fucking shit. All around the world, you've got hundreds of examples of countries, of places, have the opportunity to do what you're talking about right now. And there's not a single one of them, currently or in the past, that has ever worked. Put down the Marx books, folks. Put them down. I, you might want to fucking burn them. I don't know. You might, like, like, get rid of them. And they'd also, for what it's worth, they'd be guaranteed things like there could be shorter hours, there could be more time to do other things. To, to, to pursue their families, to pursue their friends, to pursue, uh, if, if they so choose things like art, we'd no longer have to have the starving art, like Van Gogh, for example, the starving artist who only becomes popular after they're dead. Everybody that, that, that cares about art could contribute to art. The people who work in the coal mines are right there with the people who paint poetry, sculptures. I can't even begin to imagine who's more valuable to society and making the world work. Is your goal just for nobody to work in the end? Would that be like the ultimate communist paradise? Well, I'm just gonna go do things that I like doing. Everything else will work itself out. In the meantime, we're all working two hours a day now. I can sculpt 10 hours of a day and you know, society is much better for it. And that money would come from where? Through our labor, through, 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 uh, what, what, I mean, for, let me ask you this. What really ask is, what really want. is money? What really is money? What is really anything really? Yeah. Than just sort of an expression of value. Oil, for example, because it, it makes things run. But the only way we have that oil is because a worker was able to take it out of the ground. A worker was able to refine it into gasoline. A worker was able to, to, to run the, the gas station that you put in your car. If motherfuckers just showed up to the oil fields, there's nothing else that goes on in the meantime. Workers do it. Workers do this. You motherfuckers are gonna push the whole world into automation. If I get a robot to fucking do this shit, I will do it so I don't have to hear stand in here with a shovel in their hand. But yet, their fucking labor is equatable to everything I've done to create this company, to create this business, to create everything that's fucking happening here. Somehow the motherfuckers with shovels are equally as responsible for the motherfucker that signs the checks every fucking week. You all will be the death of every career and job in the world. Drive through spots right now that have machines. There ain't a person on an AI fucking program, whatever it is, to take your order. There might be one motherfucker that walks the bag to the window. That is the world you all are gonna ultimately create. That or destruction and nothing. There's no middle ground. The workers having democratic controls over things, they would understand what does society need? So society needs energy. Uh, they would also understand what threatens society, climate change threatens society. So they could decide how much oil do we want to drill out of the ground? Well, if we pursue a green energy economy, maybe the oil workers will lose a job. Well, then let's decide to give these people retraining, building solar panels, building wind turbines, building hydroelectric dams. Realistically, like how fucking long do you clowns think you could do the things you think you'd want to do after you took everybody, oh, oh I'm sorry, expropriated. They can't say took or take if you took all the money from everybody in the fucking world and you would run out of it in two years. Two years from now, you would be worse off thinking you made the world better after you took everything from everybody with more. I want to save the earth, so we'll shut down this side and then we'll just train all these guys and all this other stuff. It's all labor, guys. Labor makes the world go around. All these people that made all this money off of everybody, they shouldn't be able to do that. We should actually make the money off of everybody's labor and then we'll spend it on whatever the loudest group of assholes think they should do with it. Like, I trust you motherfuckers with nothing. Bro, like, I can't even trust you to fucking get dressed going out the house in the morning, but yet somehow... You'd be the one to fucking make the decisions? Fuck all you clowns.
all of you. If they elect somebody who, who doesn't seem to be pursuing what they promised, for example, right now, I think Joe Biden's approval ratings keep going further down and down. Under a worker's democracy, under, under a socialist society, it would be the workers who said that we elected this guy, he promised that he'd fight back against racism, he hasn't done that. He promised he'd listen to the Black Lives Matter movement, he hasn't done that, he only gave more money to the police. <laughs> It kills me with y'all in this police shit line and as loony as y'all are about the police because in the end, you all would just make police yourselves. You might not call them that. You might call them community disruptors, community come togetherers. You'd find some dreamy name to call them, but they'd still be the same thing, enforcing all the shit that you want them to enforce. As a socialist democracy, you know, if Biden wasn't listening to Black Lives Matter, he wasn't doing his job against racism. What the fuck do you think Whatever. On a local level, a regional level, a national level, and finally an international level, we would be able to be deciding these things. We could we could take immediate action on climate change tomorrow. We wouldn't have to wait uh, for for the billionaires' bank accounts to get hit. Global level, not just local or state or national, but international. One global democracy. Everybody. We include everybody. Well, except for the people with more than us. We don't include them. I like this guy. I fucking like this guy. I say write this guy's name in. November, whatever day it is, this election coming up, put this commie dude's name in. What I mean, what is private property? Is private property just the fact that people might own the house they live in? If you're lucky, because not everybody can be in that situation. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you, bro. Like, I just imagine some of you motherfuckers ever coming up with an idea of something, some product, any fucking thing that succeeded. Ten years later down the road, you've turned that product into a fucking market dominating fucking whatever. And then you got little clowns, never been known, never had a hard day of their fucking lives, most of them. They're telling you what they think you should do with your shit. You tell a motherfucker, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I did this. I did this. With the help of as many people as it was, I still did it. And it's mine. And if you think, yo, just because you got more people than me to come take it, fuck you. That that might be one definition of private property, but I think what's even more meaningful- Yeah, I don't own my house. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a renter. Or, you know, or actually, more accurately, my dad's a renter because I had to move back in with my dad. <laughs> My priorities are straight backwards and I can't begin to imagine how to live and be responsible for my fucking dumbass self. Think you're gonna be the leader of some revolutionary communist fucking revolution? You're living with your dad, bro. Graduated college, you now write for a communist weekly newspaper. You fucking hear these people, bro? I know there's gonna be motherfuckers coming here. Oh, but you know, he didn't put it the best way, you know, but his ideas are really good and they're really sound, you know, and maybe if you just put it in a more educated way, you know, it might have made more sense. It doesn't. This shit makes no fucking sense. These people are fucking clueless hypocrites and they would never fucking do what they demand every else do for them. Who the fuck you people think you are, bro? It's truly, it's truly like you are delusional on a level that is like Everest. So what we argue is that actually through the abolition of private property, through the expropriation of the capitalist class. The expropriation, the taking, the stealing, the fucking removing of someone else's property to make it their own. Stop saying expropriating. You're taking. You're a fucking coward, scumbag, thief of the millionaires and billionaires, that wealth goes out to people. Do you think private property should be abolished? Yes. We argue that if the working class had a revolution and the working class took power tomorrow, the first thing that we'd want to do is we'd want to go after the Fortune 500 companies, the biggest banks. Yeah, what would you do? Yeah, please. We, we would want those to be expropriated. Expropriated? We would want the wealth that they created to be expropriated. Reparations could be given towards uh, the descendants of enslaved people. Fuck that. Dude, like how much fucking money do you think y'all are gonna actually get to do all this shit? You would need trillions, trillions of dollars, and even then it wouldn't be enough. Motherfucker talk about giving out reparations for slavery. To who? To fucking who? There ain't a slave that was ever once a slave in this goddamn country alive. But yet you would argue at taking something from somebody else to give to somebody because years ago, people that look like them had bad shit happen to them. 
reparations could be given to the people of Iraq, Afghanistan, and other countries that have faced Mexico, other countries that have faced US imperialism. If somebody could keep like an actual tally of the type of money this dude is talking about wanting to spend for the communist revolution, you couldn't have been good at math. I'm not good at math. But I can recognize when something starts to get so large that, like, the numbers wouldn't be able to fit on one iPhone screen of a calculator. You start talking about giving reparations to any and everyone around the world, then we're even? Is that when we're okay? Is the, Have we then reached equal? We've taken everything from anybody with more than us. We've given it to the people who didn't earn a penny of it. Are we equal then? No more bringing up the past shit that I didn't do, you didn't do. But also we could be giving it towards the, the, the poorest people in the society so that they could have hospitals, they could have jobs, they could have uh, food on the table, they could have a roof over their heads. They get all that now. If you are fucking one of them people, if you are one of those folks in this country and you don't have a job, you don't want to have a job, you don't want to do anything, you can just barely survive with whatever your state, your county, the feds will give you and you could just ride that out forever. You're talking about like all these people don't have all that given to them already. I know thousands of them. I know fucking thousands of these people who have lived most of their lives with everything given to them. Just enough to survive. They hate everyone. They hate everything. They feel they're owed even more because there's other people with more and they do nothing to gain any of it. But yet somehow wowza bro like bro like these motherfuckers live on another dimension they live in another fucking dimension the small business owners who are who are a sizable portion of this country the small business owners are not the people we would want to be going after and taking their wealth away from we're not trying to go after even even a mom and pop landlord or a mom and pop business uh, a family grocery store those are not the people we want to go after for now Maybe tomorrow even you wouldn't be doing that. But once you run out of every fucking penny you've taken from everybody else, they're next. They are fucking next on that list under the millionaires and billionaires. Right underneath of them are mom and pop stores. They're right fucking there. There is nothing really in between. Oh, man, yo, you make more than a million? Oh, man, we need to take 95% of that. Once you've taken everything from all of them and there's nothing there anymore to straw man and gaslight about, mom and pop is next on that fucking list. You will fucking destroy all them next until no one has nothing. That is the only way people can ever truly be equal. You will never be equal in prosperity. It can't happen. Fucking what David Packman said. Wraps up with this completely impossible promise. Oh, that's fucking impossible. No, that's impossible. The only equality you motherfuckers will ever get is in poverty. We, we want to go, go after, after yeah. Amazon. Uh, we want to go after Facebook. We want to go after Walmart. We want to go after Tesla. Uh, Tesla, Bank of America, those are the big corporations. Those are the ones we'd want to go after. And when you say go after, you mean like, would you imprison the people at the top? No, not necessarily. You know, if they tried to stop us from taking everything they fucking have, then, you know, maybe uh, it might be up against the wall time for them. Not necessarily. Not necessarily would you not lock up the people you want to take everything from. Bro, that's Kim Jong-un shit. That's fucking Kim Jong motherfucking un shit if I've ever seen it in my life, bro. You would fit right in in North Korea. They'd love you there. They'd fucking welcome me in with fucking open arms. Come on in, fellow commie. Come on in, fellow brickhead dense motherfucker. What, what we mean by that is that the working class should be the ones that are owning these things. They would be, we would want to, we would want to create a government of the workers, a workers government that could nationalize those things. Why? You motherfuckers ain't got no grand ideas of how shit works. Fucking somebody working on a conveyor line that seals a plastic bag as it comes by. Make sure fucking all the crayons are not fucked up when they package them. How much weight do these people carry in the sense of working for a large company that does a lot of things? They've done nothing. They do nothing. If that job isn't good enough for what they need to survive, they need to find another job. They need to fucking go get another job. They might need to work two fucking jobs. Is it unfortunate? Sure. But because of the mess the government Every fucking tax that they've put on businesses that have helped create this endless, endless mess of everything these people have made of every fucking thing in your life. The government can't fix this shit. It's been tried. It's been done. It's been shown that they can't fucking do it. No group of fucking people that do nothing but fucking package crayons could fucking run the crayon factory as if they'd have in the slightest fucking idea of every intricate detail that goes along with running Crayola fucking crayons. 
Fuck me, bro. Like, you motherfuckers are delusional. And that's actually, I, I think, all we're advocating for today is we're advocating for another turn of that, where the, where the new ruling class uh, can be expropriated, their property, uh, give, the property that, again, it only, we would argue it only exists through the labor of the workers, could be given back to society. That's what we're fighting for. We just want to take everything from the millionaires and billionaires and give to the people who pack crayons in boxes. They're the ones that actually created all this fucking wealth. Why don't you clowns just go to prison? Go to fucking prison. I mean, that's what y'all are going to end up turning everything into anyway. Just one giant fucking shithole prison where you get what you get. You get one fucking choice. You get whatever they fucking feel like giving you. If you just imagine this world where, they, where like everybody has got the opportunity to fucking use their labor for wealth. Bro, that's almost what we got now. Your labor is worth whatever somebody's willing to give you for it. That's just the beauty of the fucking world. That's just the beauty of the free fucking market. If you don't feel like you're fucking worth more than what somebody's willing to give you, learn something else. Go to trade school. Get another job. Do fucking something else. But if you think your dumbass who could barely get a job flicking fucking burgers at McDonald's should somehow come together with the rest of the dingbats flipping fucking burgers, and I'm not knocking burger flippers boat but it's just the fucking generality of like somehow the workers have the fucking answers they don't that's why they're doing what they're doing if these people had any grand ideas or better ideas than the millionaires and billionaires they'd be doing it too like i said bro just go to prison just go to prison bro you ain't gotta worry about nothing you'll be fed you'll be clothed you'll be housed you have your medical you have your dental you go outside play some basketball every day lift some weights and everything's taken care of there's your equality there's your fucking equality of a fucking world it's in prison and i don't want to live in it with you i don't want to live in it with you useless whiny childish brats you're selfish self-centered fucking brats who are mad that other motherfuckers got more than you Fucking get over it, commie. Or go move to fucking North Korea. Starve with the rest of them.